high winds, uh, and there's a lot of people facing, you know, their homes have been destroyed. Uh, my house is under, you know, two feet of water, which is an inconvenience, but it's, you know, it, that's nothing compared to what a lot of people are, are going through. And there is your, a real your sense. personal I mean, look, house? I think Hang New on. Your house, your, city your house, in this world. Anderson, your house yourself is under two feet of water? Uh, in, in Long Island, yeah, in Suffolk County. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on a river, and the river, uh, you know, went to record uh, depth. Said, I'm out of power here in New York. But uh, but out there on Long Island, yeah, two feet of water. And so, so. what do you do? What's going to happen? Are you have to, you're going to have to rebuild your, your bottom floor. I mean, what, what does a person do know. to get? Yeah, I mean, that's what I, I wonder. You know, I see all these images of the yeah. of the New Jersey and Long Island with the with the sand covering the entire community. I mean, how do people recover from that? Right. How long does it take? I don't know. You'd think a guy who's covered as many disasters as I have would know what to do. But to be honest, uh, I've never had it happen to me. And so I really don't know. I don't have cell phone service, so I haven't been able to call like an insurance company. I've been working for the last 24 hours. So honestly, I'm not even dealing with it. Uh, you know, it's, it's like the farthest thing from my mind. Uh, I feel like, you know, we got to get through these next couple of days in terms of reporting and then I'll deal with the you know, whatever the house, whatever's I, I, left. I that. totally get it, but you just said the magic word to me, which is I never thought it would happen to me, which is how most people think about these things as they enter, well, as they plan for these things before they happen, as they enter into them. And I think this, the big lesson here is it can happen to any of us. Mother Nature is in charge, and we have to be prepared for that. Karen